All right, folks, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to um, install, or a better better yet, use your USB converter if you had a floppy drive in your, your Haas machine. So what we're going to do here, as you can see, we've got folders, which is the 003, and this is how this works. We're going to, there's in divisions of 10, down here's in divisions of 1, you can go all the way up to uh, 999, just keep setting it until we get back to, to zero or whatever you want to do. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set this to folder number one. Now what that means is that does not mean that uh, the, the folder itself is on this drive. This is like a buffer. What it's going to do is it's going to assign a folder to um, the thumb drive that you put in it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to assign a program that we're going to send down to that folder. And so I'll show you how we do that. We're going to come up here. I'm just going to go ahead and pick my little warm-up program, just like you normally would. We're going to go ahead and hit F2. Eh, let me back that up. And we'll call it 003. And we'll hit uh, F2. Okay, now what it's doing, I don't even have a thumb drive in this. What it's doing is it's sending it to the hard drive con converter. And it's so, pretend that it's just like a buffer. Now, there's no, there's actually no folders in here at all. All this is doing is it says when we send this to this thumb drive, we're going to send it to and place it in a folder. Now, this thumb drive only has one folder in it, 003. It doesn't have 001 on it, so when we do this, it is going to, in fact, create that folder. And you put it in there, and then all you have to do is, if you can see down there, it says, it says out. We hit out, and there it is. And it says safe to eject is what's scrolling across there. Once it does that, we're going to pull it out. And that's it. Now, because I know that there's nothing on here that is in folder nothing on this thumb that's in folder number three there's no file in it at all what I'm gonna do is once the thumb drives out I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the folder number to number three I'm gonna put this back in and then I'm gonna hit in and what that does is it because there is absolutely no files on that folder number three on the thumb drive it just wiped and cleared out that entire buffer okay so then we're gonna once it's once we've done that it'll it scrolls through the safe to eject we pull it out and we're good to go okay so here's our folders there's 003 folders empty and here's 001 there's our file probably the most important part that you have to remember is these buttons here while they say out and in they also say 10 and 1 and the reason for that is is that when when the thumb drive is in side this drive out and end are active when it comes out well then 10 and 1 are active and so in order to do that if you want to get it to like say divisions of a hundred then you'd hit both buttons together that'll give you a hundred but you got to keep in mind this is just a buffer so you don't even need the thumb drive this is the only drive that I know of that does this you do not need the thumb drive actually in this in order for it to be able to transfer programs from your controller to here you don't need it um, in fact you can send multiple files uh, and and put them onto this drive and then tur simply turn around plug in your thumb and download everything at once and but this right here, this, this, this is not like a partition drive. It doesn't have 999 folders. Your programs are, you know, uh, are, are still gonna, gonna have to fall within the 1.44 megabytes of a floppy per program. But what this allows you to do is when it comes down to the thumb drive, it's designating a folder for it to go into. If your thumb drive, what you need to do is make sure that it's formatted. You can just right click on your thumb drive in your computer, format the disk. Um, and then make sure that everything is off of it. All your um, encryption software, whatever they stick on there, just get rid of all that crap. You don't need it. Then turn around and 
put it into this drive. Do not create your folders on the computer. It does something kind of a little strange, so make sure that you're creating your folders on here. You just call it whatever you want to call it, uh, folders 1 through whatever, 999, and when you send your file from that folder, it will put the folder on the thumb and the file underneath it. And then from there on out, it's pretty much plug and play. It's good to go. So, hope this works for you. Bye.